Hi, I'm Kenneth C. Davis. Most people know me as the author of Don't Know Much About History, Everything You Need to Know About American History But Never Learned. It's a book of questions and answers about American history that was published 30 years ago. Hard for me to believe, but it's true. I've been interested in history all of my life, since I was a small boy. I was lucky. My parents' idea of same summer vacation was to throw us in the car with some tents and sleeping bags, and we'd go off to Gettysburg or Valley Forge. And that's where I learned that history doesn't happen just in books. It happens to real people in real places. And that's the way I've tried to write about history in my books. You know, I ask questions, I love books, I love history, so it's really no surprise that I've made a career out of writing books that ask questions about history. And that's what I do in my latest book, which is called Strongman, The Rise of Five Dictators and the Fall of Democracy. It's a story of real people, five real people in this case, five men who were dictators, strong men who took their countries down a dangerous and deadly path at the cost of millions of lives. It's a really important story for us all to understand. These five men, you've probably heard their names or seen them in your school books. They are Benito Mussolini of Italy, Germany's Adolf Hitler, Joseph Stalin of the Soviet Union, Mao Zedong of China, and Saddam Hussein of Iraq. All of them were strongmen or dictators who took complete control of their countries with murderous results. It's a really important story for us to understand because it's also the story of how rights and liberties and freedoms can be wiped away in an instant. You may have heard that democracy dies in darkness, but one of the things this book shows is that democracy can vanish in broad daylight with millions of people cheering. So it also asks that question, what can, we, what can we do to protect democracy? How do we keep democracy from dying? As students, you may be able to vote if you're old enough, but if you can't, you still have a voice, and it's important to understand that. One of the lessons of history is that people with a voice have made changes through this country's history. They didn't always have a vote, but they did have a voice. So you can write to your congressperson, you can write letters to the editor or to the school board, you can march in a protest. Some people even go on strike from school. That's what a young girl named Greta Thunberg did and she changed the world in some respects. So around the world right now, young people are taking the lead in things like climate change and gun safety and Black Lives Matter. They may not be able to vote, but they have a voice. And that's a really important lesson of history. We can lose that voice, we can lose those rights, we can lose those freedoms very, very quickly. So it's up to us to understand our rights and our responsibilities. It's one of the most important lessons of history. It's the lesson that I write about in Strongman, and it's one of the reasons that history matters. Thank you.